You, do you know how many tools I have, Jake? There's a thousand dollars. It was from Harbor Freight. It was like three dollars. I don't care. A no, I'm serious. Of All of this was three dollars. Hi, Lisa. Bless your heart. They need help. Uh, there's thirty thousand dollars worth of tools in that house. I can give you two different wrenches for everything I, you got there. Get something. There's eight thousand things in there. He keeps for you. You needed more cups. Probably. Are you recording? Yeah, he's been recording the whole thing. Just in case. You can delete me from it. Oh, well. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> we got to figure out something. Just for us. Yeah, come on. The one in Reese's room is now going to, or the one in the living room is going to go in Reese's room, and then we're going to put a sectional in the living room. And that's what oh. we're going to pick up. See if we can use this. Are you really recording me? Yeah. You're bored, aren't you? They threw away stuff at the railroad. And I had a habit of going through the dumpsters. And they said we could. And one day Lisa started crying, going, don't bring us it else. Oh, please. And the next thing you know, we couldn't get under the house. <laughs> That's not funny. That's I was a poor boy with nothing. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Uh, it's pretty funny now. Because I have an idea. There's no, big I have an idea. Come on. Railroad Shelby Street Bridge timbers come out the rail Shelby Street Railroad Bridge. It's put together with metal. You can pick it up with a helicopter. If you had to. If you had If you wanted to move it with you. Just take it everywhere. Oh, really? Do you have nothing to do? I'm going to call your mama. All we have to do today is get a cup. Yeah, but I'm going to call his mama. Keep, keep, keep her. I know and I trust you. Hey, you, because uh, I found that uh, in a job site, and they used it to, uh, it's, Whatever. It's just sticking in the side you of your truck. This is the one I found on the side of the road. You saw it, didn't you? It's very entertaining. <laughs> we, he, he keeps saying that. I never told him that we have all day. We got the chain hooked through the back of the frame. Looped through. Yeah. Safety. Safety, baby. Dad, he's just taking a video. He used to take videos of everything. There's a spear gun in the back of this. <laughs> There's scuba diving equipment. There's two zip ties. There's a takedown bow. Okay, I'll use them too. There's a takedown bow with a fish reel. That way you can shoot fish and bring them in and we cook them. We won't starve. Or you could shoot. What could you do? And spear a couch. I went over to a friend's house and he was yelling, Look at this! There were seven of us that bow hunted religiously. Mm. And he is standing in the kitchen of these little apartments on Belmont, next to Belmont. Over there by the college. And he goes, watch this. We was trying to find things to stop an arrow mm. besides styrofoam from the lake because if it's waterlogged, you have to stand on the styrofoam and it takes two people to pull the arrow out and not bend it. Oh, wow. But a, a new piece, you can pull it out. The best thing is cotton. Cotton in a bag. Mm -hmm. Gigi can go pull the arrow out. Uh, he's standing in the kitchen and I walk in the door and he says, stop right there. And I hear a whoosh. He shot his couch. His couch was one of them stuffed cottons, and it was stopping there. But this is old recurve day. Yeah. Jake's compound, we went through it, through the wall, killed the next door neighbor. We have to pick up, what time do we have to pick it up? Uh, between 10 and 11, and I think it's 10 Yeah, now. we're gonna, we're gonna barely make it in time. Okay. Or, or at least by like, I think 11.30 is when okay. they wanted us okay. there. Okay. Well then put your phone down and start taking the cab out. Uh, I got one hand. Oh, you are not still. <laughs> I got a question. Did he walk around with that all day? No, Dad, we're bored. It's just, it's Saturday. No, it has nothing to do with it's that. It's Saturday. Does he get... Look at this. See that tree right there? Hey, you know, tree stand. Fake deer in the backyard. Seven people shooting. We took turns going up the ladder to get up there. You know, home videos always seem ridiculous until you look at them like 10 years later. Oh, and you watch it. the whole thing. Remember when we watched you? Hey, 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 hey. We ripped so much mahogany that there was ten times that much and they were burning it and I 
it was soaked. So I wove it together, made a basket, and then disassembled it and wrapped it. And I said, don't burn this, I want this, because Lisa makes baskets. She ain't got no mahogany basket. Make sandwiches work. I've got bread, so I bought another one. Good soup. Good soup. Give me I'll a catch little it. Z pattern. Throw it. <laughs> that was an end. I tried. <laughs> Hug your mama. We have moved two of the three couches. Oof, then two of the three. And we're going to get an eviction notice. We're no longer. We put a hole in the wall. Hi, I don't really know how to start this, but um, I've kind of decided that I want to do a video log. I don't know how the audio sounds in here, but this is in my office at my house. shows me taking airsoft guns and I'm putting um, some black tape around the tips. I'm not completely covering up the orange. I know if I did do that, that would not be good. But the reason I'm doing that, tomorrow we are doing some filming for a short that I'm doing. It's a project for one of my classes. I'm trying to do like a small proof of concept for a bigger thing that I want to do. And yeah, I've kind of decided that I want to video log my life. I don't know if anyone's ever really going to watch it. I don't know if it's going to get any attention. That's not really what I'm doing this for. I'm mostly doing it because I want to, I want to be able to look back on my life, either in time-lapse little, little snippets or if they're more detailed and personal. Um, with me just talking to the camera but I'm gonna start I'm gonna start recording my life I'm kind of excited um yeah I guess one of the things that I should start off with is we just finished up today it's the last day for my media orientation class last Friday for that week 13 but on top of that it's also my birthday I just turned 22 I had really just intended on celebrating my birthday by going to get a tattoo. He accidentally double booked, um, but the other person had got there before I was, so we're just moving it to tomorrow. I'm gonna try and try and get a time lapse of that. That could be fun.
I, I feel like I need to document that we did the most illegal thing by um, moving the, the Jefferson's tables. We put, we put I want to tables make together. Vlog. Hey guys, welcome to my vlog. Hot name, hot name, hot I thought you were saying the part where you taste the pickles. Just pretend the camera's not there. <laughs> I can't do that. Bitch, I can smell your lung. <laughs> can I be the first to die in the video? I want to hear. It can't be me. It has to be an older person. It has to either be him or him. Yes! Can you give me Sorry. like an overview of what's going on? It's always been a dream. So, essentially, for the short film, I what I'm doing, I am. That's fair. I am essentially doing a proof of concept for a feature that I'm writing. Um, within the proof of concept, I'm changing some of the roles. Uh, initially, it's supposed to be between a brother and a sister. Um, Multiple yeah. angles. It's supposed to be between a brother and a sister. The brother doesn't talk. It's an older sister. But I'm using all guys Is for the role because... No. Why not a girl? You got something against women? It's not something against women? No, I just couldn't find a girl that was available what are you on the Saturday. Yeah, um, so essentially within the, the proof of concept script that I've written, it's essentially taking place, um, they're like walking through the forest, it's early morning, the, the older siblings POV guy about... eating fried pickles dot TM. <laughs> Ow! Stop, I hate this. Yeah, it's supposed to be about his thing. Ow. 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 Script opens up with the older sibling or whatever sibling is talking. Um, it's talking about how they wish they had a dog, how making or having a dog would make things easier because um, it's the apocalypse and shit. Um, but Can like as they're line? walking or whatever, huh? Can that be my line? Man, I wish I had a dog because it's the apocalypse and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we had Bolt. He'd be worthless. Be <laughs> 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 the brother is mute. Within the main script itself, it'll kind of go into why he's mute. Somebody's gonna roll our name. So, like, whoever is playing him in the, the proof of concept script doesn't have any speaking lines. It's more about body language and then reactions there. Yeah, um, so. But within it, while they're walking, their conversation gets interrupted by two gunshots that happen in the distance. They kind of, like, tense up for a second, and then they go check it out just to see if either there's any survivors <laughs> from the situation or if there's any infected in the area. When they get there, there's an older gentleman who has who appears dead because he's got blood gushing from his neck and from his arm. Um, and then there's a dead thing on the ground, or a dead body on the ground. The two siblings come into the clearing. They go to check the one that's on the ground, like in front of the old guy. The old guy like raises his gun up to them and he's just like, meh. Um, and they're like, yo, don't shoot, we're not infected. And he's just, he puts his gun out and he's just like, good. I thought there were gonna be more. I didn't want to get eaten, essentially. The conversation essentially goes just like, there's nothing really we can do for you. You've been bitten in your neck. And then he's just like, well, you'd think after so long um, that I'd be ready to say my goodbyes and just be ready to die after seeing so many other people die. But uh, now that it's my time, I don't think I'm ready to go. But I don't think I want to turn into one of them. And then he kills himself. Uh, there's going to be some tricks in the background signifying that there's some of the infected nearby and then that's where, gonna, where it's going to end. I want to be the guy who kills himself. But... Man, I mean, wouldn't there, you wouldn't have to worry about anything. I'm in Parker's <laughs> vlog. I want you to tell me... I want you to tell me why you're going to bring Birmingham. Um, everyone there is just like me. I'm racist. <laughs> oh, my oh my gosh. So glad. Like, what the guys? What if <laughs> Today I'm gonna do a lot of <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen to listen to heretical music like Philphonic. They talk about doing sex. I, I am listen, not here for that. I listen to secular music about <laughs> like Motley Crue sec. by Post Malone. <laughs> what? This one time I was in the car. Uh, dib. Jake was uh, driving dib. and then Jake played secular music. <laughs> and I was in the back just like These guys don't believe in God. Dude. Oh. J J J no, I feel like, I feel like He's not my son. Andy, I'll talk to you later. Fuck the Taliban? No, no, I'll hold on. Turn it off. Let me finish my story without being recorded. Did Travel you with, with caution. <laughs> These forests are home to the bones. Much.
No. Beast. Uh -huh. Just barely. Dang it. Can I wear your beanie for a second? <laughs> for humor. I want to see that again. I just saw that. Oh my gosh, there's a guy jerking it in the Jefferson's parking lot. Why are you working? I left my keys inside on the table. Oh, you might want those. You might need those. We could walk home. Yeah, but it's a little chilly. A little. I can see. I mean, you could ride home with Mason. Yeah. Is Andy going with them? But yeah, Reese I and I could walk home and leave the Jeep here. Look, I'll, I don't really care. My room's really upstairs. It is. Oh, there's Connor's room. Connor. Yeah, they're already here. Um, so they get to the- Tow truck. They get to the, the forest mm -hmm. and their first thought is like, Okay, we have to get past this tree on the ground. Because if you stop and there's something wrong, the goal is to keep going. Like, you're not supposed to stop for very long. Unless you're, like, resting. It's the rest points. But also, for the sake, it is good to notice up to this point, like, the main Connor, main character, Rob, is just, like, this has never happened before. Yeah, there's never like been a tree blocking the path. Like, wait, there's never been... Stop? That's Connor. Connor. That That's Catherine. Like, why is this happening? He goes, Wait, it's like somebody's my like camera. Literally... I've decided I'm gonna start like documenting my life, so I'm just gonna start so recording at random points. And the guy in the very back. No. The... Oh no, a car accident. We need to tow car. this car Are you back like to the shop. You wearing like a trench cosplay today? And they get out. They grab the guy. I'm, from the I'm fit to the right. outfit. They chain him up like they're about to. What's up, low gangsters? Uh, welcome to the vlog today. Today we're here at the at the. What is his house called? The, entire the, like the Maverick Nintendo? house. He's no, the, the Ma that's Jake the, Paul, oh, idiot. Yeah. I'm trying, We're here at the Maverick. Like the they're left not, right they don't recognize that there's the other people right there. Game? It's just him. I'll not, recap it whenever we get inside. The car. This will be like oh, the fifth time like, tonight oh, that we're talking so about this. Car needs Wait, to be the podcast left and right again? Yeah. Okay, I know what that is. They straight up hook him through the jaw, and they tow him off as if he's a... It's not done yet. Um... It's not done yet. Have you really not stopped recording this whole <laughs> No, I have. But I'm... I don't know. I need footage, so... Are you really going to... I am. This is going to be me now. I've decided that I don't want to forget my life. I have a terrible memory, so I want to be able to look back on my life. So is Kathy. Hey, Yoda. It is a very tan room. Tans and browns. Hopefully that'll change soon. Yeah. Ethan's only good because he surpassed me. I'm, we got it on video now. Are you, are you recording in 24 frames per second? Like a proper? I think it's 60. Like a, oh my. Is it bad to have it in 60 frames per second? Parker, 24 is cinematic. These are the fundamentals of cinematic filmmaking. I don't know what it's on right How now. I taught you nothing. You want to show the video my room? Video, come with me. I like how the music started right away. Austin, can I play your drum set? Yeah. Yeah. Cuff them. 
Yeah, dude. Word. It's because I'm gay. Uh, I bought quarter Because you're gay. That one is because you're gay. You're into uh, peanut. Why do other people get to do things in audio more than I do? This isn't fair. <clears throat> because we have audio connections. Where are you going from? I'm not done. Oh, sorry. I didn't get the musical talent, I got the artistic talent. So therefore, I'll be tone deaf. I have these thoughts. <laughs> so, here we go. But today's filming day. So, last night we did our script reading. Uh, we had our eight people there. Here, we'll really only need the last four pages that we ended up transitioning over to, which will be the, the proof of concept script. Jake will be playing Older Man, as I have it labeled in the script. Andy will be playing Rose, and then Reese is going to be playing Zach. Uh, I think I'm going to have, or I'm having Mason as the, the lurker, and he's going to help me with the screeches in the background of some of the scenes. I'm really excited for today. I'm a little drowsy, just for the sake of waking up, but got my coffee. We're driving. We're going. Um... Reese is doing some like B-roll interview shots. Um, what I'm going to be doing here is the, the closest thing that I've really found for um, making fake blood to use for like this kind of stuff is corn syrup, red food coloring, and then Hershey's cocoa powder. If you mix it well enough, it, it's pretty consistent, fairly um, whatever. Um, but, but it works. We, we used it in a different short film that I did, um, but this will be a lot more within the scene, people moving instead of just like brief moments. Just finished mixing. I, I think it's pretty good. But yeah, that, that's the that's the blood we're gonna use for today. Cool. I'm fucking oh. good. <laughs> How was it, Max? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, he just walked in. Huh? No, you're good. You're good. Uh, just uh, drop it in the sink. That's about two dollars. What do you think it's gonna be like? Ten dollars for your first probably gonna be like an, an amount. No. Oh, no amount. Really? Like a substantial amount of money. At the piercing, but don't go. Yeah, how much is it? Do you know? At at that place, it was you pay for the like the the piercing, like the jewelry itself. For free. If that's the case, so then like, I'm gonna want them to do it for me. It was only fifty bucks for me. Oh, that's not bad. To get both. Yeah. Okay. Do a lot yesterday. 
um, after we finished filming. I was really tired, but also it's just a long day because drove to the tattoo shop and then d couldn't do any filming at the tattoo shop. But this is what I did. Got my ears pierced. I got Dwagon. Good. This one's shiny. It's the bandage. Yep. So, a little bit more about myself. I work in downtown Nashville, but I don't do anything crazy. I work for a hotel and I valet cars. One thing I didn't realize about this town before I started working in it, even though I've grown up in Tennessee my entire life, is that Nashville is apparently one of the most touristed cities in the United States. Didn't realize that. But now that I work down here, I can kind of see why. I mean, you have all the crazy bars, got all the, the bachelorette parties that come in down here, got live music everywhere. These, the, the like pedal tavern thingies. I don't get it. I don't see the appeal, but I mean, people are crazy about it. But yeah, I'm a valet downtown and today it's raining. This is literally how dumb some people are. Just sitting in the middle of the road. So, it's been essentially dead here tonight. Um, so might as well spend time in the garage. Uh, every so often we get some cool stuff down here, but I guess since it's natural, people like to drive their trucks a lot. Um, for a night out, which makes no sense to me. I feel like I can share those condolences with a lot of valets, maybe. I don't know. But the only really cool car that we got tonight was a Tesla. I also just realized, you know, as I get home, I forgot to clock out. But also, tomorrow, we don't have class. So instead of class, I'm helping out one of my classmates with her film that she has to do. So you guys already saw that I did mine, hence the red food, food coloring on my hand. Um, I don't know what hers is about, but I'm, I'm gonna be playing a news reporter in her film. Today we're gonna um, go kill the infidels. All right. Very good, very nice. Bing bong. what's called a weighing mechanism yeah where it's like you explain how you're going to prove if you won the round so if it's like a policy maybe you would say net benefits to the united states like which law or which policy will get the most benefits to the united states but it brings bring the question of like basically any argument can be won if you use the right weighing mechanism like if you just view it from a specific area so like starting the car while the gas is going is a good idea if we're just looking at net benefits to chaos. It's bigger than you or me. Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> watch out for the family. Well, that is important. Net benefits to chaos. We, blow up, the, we blow up the car. Then, and possibly blow up the entire place and possibly blow them up in the process. So that is more chaotic than just hitting them with our car. Then I raise you that <laughs> what we should do is we should have figured out if one of the people in the gas station parking lot that we were just in seeing if like their key fob had like the double click start the car ability. Mm. Um, and if it did, we could have carjacked them, stole their key fob, made sure it was still pumping gas, and then started their car while it was still pumping gas. Therefore, it's not our car. We start other people. We are alive, and we chaotic. see the chaos. That, well, I mean, just in general, it's more chaotic to do it to somebody else's car than your own. 
and then we use our own car and we run it into the storefront of the gas station. Perfect. She's got electric boots. Her forehead moves. You know I read it in a magazine. You do all yours, Dad. You can open all yours. That's who they did that at the concert. Well, he's deaf. He can't hear or see anything. I know. His name is Bingus. Maybe he speaks Spanish. Hola. Como esta? Donde esta la leche? <laughs> Where's the milk? You look right here, dog. Where is the milk? I have no idea. <laughs> I gotta remember somehow. Benny. Parker's confirmed that you have That's not what's in it. We took it out when you took it. You want me to get out? I'll do it. I want to do it. Call dibs. Call dibs. Oh, that's fair. Charge it for <laughs> he can't hear you. Something oh, pokey. Is, is, is Where's, yeah. Where's the other one of dad's? Right there beside him. Oh, oh. oh. One on either one. one. Hey, hey, don't just throw it on the ground. It's, it's a really expensive gun, Grandpa. Oh, it's a puzzle. <laughs> no, we wouldn't spend that much. Ten or one dollar. It would be a puzzle about a gun. I like the wrap. I love that wrap. Or we'll figure out how this works. Is that a hip or hop? A hip it? A hip it is a hip hip hop. You don't stop. Or I got out. Because I made the name boogie jump. Look at the up to the boogie doobie. Now what you hear is not a test. Oh, there it is. And me? Come here. Hey, my friends are going to try it. And I am 1-0. Hello. 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 It's recording. <laughs>told me could not be monkey apparently um the hip adduction thing that's in planet fitness is for women. guys can't do it or shouldn't do it it's for women um because which i might be a woman because i'm really good at it yeah but apparently the longer or the more guys do it especially on the higher weights the higher risk of getting a hernia um because apparently i guess guys don't have that muscle dang we gave away our muscles and our abs so women can I guess. So I'm glad glad I just figured that out because um, we've been doing it for months. A little bit, yeah. Just ask me that again and make sure you know. I answer. said you've never been to the gym. It wasn't a question. It was a statement. Okay. Hey, point it at me. Uh, the Armenian genocide was good. So I I really don't know what happened. Or like my ear just cleaned it all off. Was like coked in blood. It's like all around the earring, entire backside. I don't know if anything's still there. I tried to clean off most of it, but it's just like, there's like one really big like blood clot thing around the backside of it. And even like on my pillow. It's cause I like, I woke up. It's just like bleeding. Is it the wind?
What is, are those birds? Holy cow. Are those bats or birds? They're, they're birds. They're not, they're starlings. That's um, so cool. I, th I think they're starlings. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Wait, I kind of want to do it again. Wait, I'm going to do it with my belly. No, that's not going to work. Oh, oh, wait, I want to do it. I want to do it. Okay, go. That's cool. That's, That's so cool. That's whack. Whack is, whack is heck. So I guess they ended up moving sites. It was this area out in Lebanon. Come out here to meet a high school buddy of mine. Uh, did drumline with Blackbeard Barber Shop out in Lebanon, Tennessee. It's a great shop. They got great barbers and great bourbon. I'm still worried about my ear.